and the anticipation that's been growing here since one o'clock has now reached its height. The players just walking onto the turf below us and something of a surprise in that Nottingham Forest are being led out not by Brian Clough but by their assistant manager Peter Taylor. Just a little bit I think of the Clough philosophy yet again. And behind Peter Taylor, John McGovern, the man who's followed Brown Clough from Hartlepool to Derby to Leeds and now to Nottingham Forest, leads out his side in their bright red tracksuits and white shorts and coming on the other side from them and lining up on this now very famous red carpet here at Wembley, the Southampton side led by Laurie McMenemy, their manager, and Alan Ball, the man who says this could well be his last Wembley. He wants to make it special. And Brian Clough simply walks out rather quietly, all on his own, together with his management staff behind him. It's Brian Clough, in fact, who allows his assistant manager, Peter Taylor, to have the limelight. I think again, perhaps a little bit of ace card, ace trump card by Brian Clough. Always positive, always different, a little bit controversial, but colourful, and he wants to retain the cup. So that's the lineup then this afternoon. Nottingham Forest, the League Cup holders, the champions, European Cup favourites, but they're against, remember, the side in form, Southampton, two positive sides, and this could be one of the best League Cup finals ever. And already. In possession is Ivan Goldatz, the Yugoslav, just inside his own half. A good ball forward to Steve Williams. Alan Ball gets his first effective prod forward. Not a very good ball, though. And Larry Lloyd, slightly slipping, in fact, on a patch of wet turf just outside his penalty area, still manages to prod the ball back to goalkeeper Peter Schulp. His first feed of the ball and a long kick downfield by him. Not properly controlled by Steve Williams. So Nottingham Forest come forward with Woodcock, but a good interception being made by Malcolm Waldron. A high ball into the Forest half, but Lloyd will pump it back again towards that Southampton penalty area to our left, and Waldron wisely just letting the ball cross the line for a goal kick to Southampton. And Terry Geno celebrated his 26th birthday yesterday, so it could be quite a weekend for him, this. Spots the ball up, his first touch of action, and I doubt if you'd have told him a year ago he would have been here, whether he would have believed it possible. Long kick forward then by Geno. Lands just inside the centre circle. Williams brings it forward and a good ball down the line. Finds Curran halfway inside the Nottingham Forest half. Takes on and gets round Lloyd on the edge of the penalty area. And the cross in the end went swinging away behind. But that was a good effective run by T Southampton. We'll be hoping to see from him today. A good ball played forward to him halfway inside the Nottingham Forest half. He immediately attacked Larry Lloyd. The Forest centre-back got round him but the cross was behind and the goal kick already taken and in fact from it Peter Schulten kicking it out of play about 10 yards inside the Southampton half on this near side of the field Southampton's right Golatz takes the throw and Curran is in possession again just inside the Nottingham Forest half the long ball played forward and little Austin Hayes getting his first kick in both senses, he kicked the ball and then he got a bit of a kick too from the massive figure of Larry Lloyd. In boxing parlance, he must be conceding about a foot in height and three stone to Lloyd. The free kick quickly taken. He's played forward, two Hayes on the edge of the penalty area, but Clark will get it away. Picked up again though by Southampton on the halfway line by their skipper, Alan Ball. Plays it back into his half, Waldron forward. A long ball back by him to his goalkeeper, Terry Geno. And so, with the uh, first three minutes completed here at Wembley, both goalkeepers have seen the ball. From Geno, it's uh, with Golatz halfway inside, Southampton's half. He's under pressure from Bertels, and so will play it back into his own penalty area. And Geno waving players upfield. He's already hit one very, very deep kick, Geno. And there's another long one from him, not quite as long this time. And Gemmel will head it back into Southampton's half. Bertels challenging for possession. Waldron fouls him free kick given by the referee halfway inside the Southampton half Forrest have taken it already Robertson plays it forward to Woodcock with his back to goal he turns away from danger and finds Gemmel Gemmel crowded out of it by Williams but still manages to find Frank Clark Clark lays it forward to the edge of the Southampton box and taking no risks Malcolm Waldron belts it out of play throw in to Nottingham Forest already taken by Robertson Peach intercepts on the edge of the Southampton penalty area turns the ball upfield but only succeeds in giving it to Robertson just outside the Southampton box Robertson's going forward and gets in a shot and Geno did well to dive to his right to save that and a good throw by the keeper finds Peach in the left wing position just inside now his own that's the Southampton half cuts in field and 
chips it right-footed into the Nottingham Forest half. Headed away, and that's a good clearance. Finds Woodcock halfway inside Southampton's half. He's got two men free on the left and finds one of them. Robertson, 15 yards from the penalty area, takes on Golatz. Golatz a sliding tackle. The ball will spin away. But uh, Southampton, in the shape of Curran, win it back again. That was a good challenge by Golatz. He'll feel a lot more confident to have got that uh, successful challenge behind him. But then Ball gives it away, not for the first time today. And it's picked up by Nottingham Forest again with O'Neill, 10 yards from the Southampton penalty area. Lovely ball by him, finds Barrett. Barrett chips in into the box. Bertle's looking for the header again and gets the header in. But this time it's wide. 13 minutes gone in this 19th League Cup final. Nottingham Forest nil, Southampton nil. Forest making their third appearance in 12 months at Wembley. Before that, before club BC, I suppose you could say, they'd appeared here only once in 113 years. A measure of what that man has done to this club. Southampton back in possession. The ball on the far side with Phil Boyer in the outside left position. Out near the corner flag on the Southampton left. Back to Nick Holmes. He'll leave it again to... Boyer near the touchline, back in field from him to Peach. Peach shaping for a shot perhaps, hits it short instead to Ball. Ball back to Peach inside the penalty area and Peach has scored! Nottingham Forest nil, Southampton won. David Peach after 17 minutes scores an exceptionally simple but an exceptionally important goal. Alan Ball, a glorious ball through. Nottingham Forest perhaps appealing for offside as it was prodded through by ball into the penalty area, but it seemed to me that Peach came from behind the defenders. He only had Chilton to beat. I say only had Chilton to beat. He's quite a goalkeeper to beat, of course, but Peach kept his head beautifully, and Southampton, against the odds, have taken the lead. Nottingham Forest nil, Southampton won. Well, one of the few ways you can beat Peter Chilton, I suppose, is from about five yards, and that's all Peach had to do then. It looked a simple goal, but Peach, who began the move himself, took up the absolutely the right position and kept his head, and that's not easy at Wembley, of course, in that situation. And that, although so simple, was a very good goal. Southampton in the lead. What are Nottingham Forest made of now? Not often this season. They've had to come back from a goal deficit. They did it, of course, against Zurich recently, in that European Cup quarter-final tie and they scored four goals in the end that night I wonder if they can come back as effectively here today Nottingham Forest nil, Southampton won after 18 minutes of the 1979 League Cup final the ball with Nottingham Forest on that far side of the field Bertels has slipped and given it away and Southampton growing in confidence by the second now almost with ball forward to Golatz back to ball better stop this now Southampton are beginning to flow the ball with Austin Hayes, halfway inside the Forest half, finds Boyer, Boyer flicks it to Williams, edge of the box. Williams trying to thread it through back to Austin Hayes, but Nottingham Forest, the combined forces of Forest get it clear, but only half clear. Holmes for Southampton, halfway inside the Nottingham Forest half, to the goal scorer David Peach. That was his sixth goal of the season, and the most important one so far. He finds Ball, Ball tries the reverse ball, back out to that left touch line. But it's out of play, and a throw in to Nottingham Forest deep inside their own half. Forest going forward, looking for an equaliser, but a bad ball by Larry Lloyd, and Southampton are back in possession. Austin Hayes on the halfway line, goes forward in the inside right position, and finds Curran on the right touchline. Curran moves in field again, takes on, attacks Frank Clark, gets a good ball into the middle, Boyer nearly flicks it in. There's a scramble, and Chilton has made a magnificent save. He had to be good, and he had to be brave then, Chilton, and he was both those things. Boyer tried to get in a shot, couldn't do so. Holmes did manage to turn it forward, but Chilton, with that enormous chest of his, dived on the ball and smothered it inside the goal area, and that could so easily have been a second goal for Southampton. Forest defence looking unusually shaky for them. And here now to continue commentary, Peter Jones. 26 minutes gone here at Wembley. Nottingham Forest nil, Southampton one, Forest in possession. Needham, a long ball looking for Martin O'Neill down the right. Peach is there first. Short, squat little figure of David Peach. What a great buy he's been for Southampton since he came from Gillingham. And his sixth goal of the season, well, I wonder how important it's going to be. It's certainly important in this first half because since then Southampton have settled down. They're perhaps the hottest team at the moment, as Brown Clough, the Forest manager, has said. Nickel. 
finds Boyer, good running by Boyer, finally brought down, clumsiness rather than anything else there, I think, by Barrett and O'Neill between them. Free kick to Southampton, ten yards inside the Forest half, Peach will take it short, ball, square to Williams. Williams, a little short ball forward, though ball doesn't read it, and it's played back by O'Neill, Woodcock, Gemmell, inside the centre circle, challenged by ball, Golatz comes in, he's much too quick once more for... Uh, Bertels, and the ball is played back 30 yards, cheers from Southampton boos from Forest. good atmosphere here at Wembley for this League Cup final Southampton at the moment in the driving seat 27 minutes gone in the first half ball played into touch once more tiny figure of uh, Austin Hayes just 5 foot 5 and a half I suppose uh, one remembers players like uh, Johnny Hancock's of Wolves and Bobby Collins of Leeds that's the sort of stature of Austin Hayes, well certainly in height he's got a long way to go of course before he reaches the quality of those players but a great day for him in his 10th first team game only for Southampton. As Peach looks for that same Hayes. Ball hemmed in, does well, gets the ball back to Peach. Halfway inside the forest half, laid forward by Holmes. Austin Hayes is there, leaves it to Ball. Ball going on a run himself, cuts the ball back. Danger for Forrest. Boyer's there, shoots, collides with Lloyd. And it's cleared off the backside of Larry Lloyd. And O'Neill, quick on the break. Can't find uh, Woodcock though, ball laid back. Clark is there on his own, heads the ball forward. McGovern will want to calm it down a little bit. But again, danger there for Nottingham Forest. And the goal yawned wider and wider. But it's still Southampton 1, Nottingham Forest 0. Woodcock trying a run down the left. Ball goes into touch, though. Can't control it. And it'll be a throw into Southampton. Good work by Waldron. One of the local boys in this Southampton side, Malcolm Waldron. And again, uh, Ivan Golac in his first season in league football. The first imported star, I suppose you could say, to appear at Wembley, and he'll get Curran going. And Curran's going on a run himself, got himself in all sorts of trouble. They ran all the wrong way, and Forrest pick it up themselves. Robertson to McGovern. McGovern's hemmed in, though, by yellow Southampton shirts. Breaks to O'Neill, did well there, the Irishman, to come away from that. Turns it back to McGovern, plays it first time, edge of the area. Woodcock, too many yellow Southampton shirts. They slam the door shut, and here comes Williams on a run. Williams reverses it to his left, Hayes, wasn't a good ball though from Williams, Hayes had taken up a good position there, and Gemmell came back just to patch things up for Forrest. Again, uh, one felt that it was going to be a great midfield struggle between McGovern and uh, Gemmell on the one side for Forrest, and Alan Ball and Williams on the other. At the moment, Southampton leading on points and by a goal, but here come Forrest, ball played in front of the area, Woodcock goes down, Gemmell goes down, the Southampton goalkeeper was too quick. To be fair, Peach came in as well. It was a little difficult for Woodcock, but that was a through ball, nicely played, and Geno did well. 11 minutes to go to half-time then. Nottingham Forest trailing here to Southampton by one goal to nil. And Southampton in possession with David Peach. Long ball from him, loose this time. Barrett playing it to Bertels, back to McGovern, inside the centre circle. Short, Robertson has to go back towards his own goal, looking desperately for somebody. In the end goes it alone, almost gets himself into trouble, then gets himself out of trouble by finding Barrett. Looking for O'Neill. Good skills there by the Irishman once more. Infield finds McGovern. O'Neill screaming for a return ball and he gets it by way of Robertson. O'Neill across the area and it's wasted. O'Neill started it so well. A nice one-two with McGovern. And in the end the ball was loose and high and wide. And there were no problems in the end for Southampton. And for Terry Geno, their goalkeeper. And Ivan Golatz taking uh, plenty of time. Playing the ball back. In fact one of the ball boys has to come over and uh, rescue it for Terry Geno. Ten minutes to half-time in this 19th League Cup final here at Wembley. Southampton 1, Nottingham Forest 0. Geno backs away five or six yards. He'll take the goal kick with his right foot with his new red-striped white ball and finds Williams heading on looking for Boyer. Can't. A massive figure of Lloyd is there. Long ball from him. A nice little flick header by Woodcock looking for Bertels. Bertels rather clumsy. Finds it. Gemmel! Gemmel going through. Lovely covering work by David Peach. Oh, that was sweet by Peach. As the ball is uh, played into touch, Robertson will want to take the throw quickly. Ten yards in the corner flag. Forrest going forward, but trailing by one goal to nil. Gemmel crouches forward, lays it back to Robertson, tight to the near touch line. Still Robertson is hemmed in by Golatz. Gets a high ball across the area. Headed away by Waldron. Finds once more Boyer. Boyer turns it back. He's lost it, though. Gemmel comes in, looking for Woodcock. Golatz, good tackling from Golatz. Gemmel comes in once more, buzzing for Forrest. Robertson, danger for Southampton. Golatz blocks the uh, cross, goes into touch just. Robertson didn't think it had, but it had. And it'll be a Southampton throw, a yard or two from their own corner flag. 
and this is certainly when the experienced players like Nick Holmes for example and particularly Alan Ball may have just to calm things down a little bit because psychologically so important to go in with a one goal lead is what it stands at the moment for Southampton Ball a loose ball from Alan Ball though Curran comes back to challenge Gemmell's there first and he's brought down with a clatter by Alan Ball not dissimilar in size not dissimilar in experience and certainly not dissimilar in skills Alan Ball and Gemmell Clark takes the free kick quickly for Nottingham Forest Gemmell high across the area headed away by Nickel danger certainly there for Southampton Williams heads the ball on once more Boyer will come away for it Boyer brought down Martin O'Neill doesn't think so Martin O'Neill has a few words with Peter Reeves the uh, Leicester referee who played pro football himself Peter Reeves he won't really be bothered by that and when it's all calmed down, Steve Williams, the man who got that uh, equaliser against Leeds United. You may remember at one stage against Leeds in an earlier round, Southampton were two goals down. They must have seemed dead at that stage. They came back to make it 2-2 and then won in a memorable night out of the Dell. That's the reason why they're here at Wembley. Long ball laid forward by Forrest, though, looking for Woodcock. Woodcock plays it back to Robertson, tight to the near touchline, going at the defender. Comes in field, tries to pay the ball forward off the back of Curran. Frank Clark coming in strong and Holmes going in a bit too strong on Frank Clark. And Frank Clark down on the ground, picks himself up and it'll be a free kick to Nottingham Forest. We've got now just a minute and a half to half time. And Nottingham Forest trailing by one goal to nil, have a free kick. It's about five yards outside the Southampton uh, penalty area, just to the left as Nottingham Forest look at it. Robertson's there, Frank Clark who got the free kick is there, Robertson takes it across the area, headed away by Nickel, breaks out to the far side, Martin O'Neill drives it low, again he drives it, and he didn't too far, and the ball goes wide, and it's a goal kick. So Geno can breathe a little bit with relief, will now take the goal kick, and this time it's not such a good one because the ball is dropping still inside his own half. Robertson, Gemmell, and Gemmell going forward for Nottingham Forest, little flick ball to his left, Bertles across the area, Neil goes in, ball breaks, Williams is there, a shot coming in from McGovern, he in fact kicks air, still no pressure on Southampton here, O'Neill going forward, ball cleared in the end by Waldron, Robertson stopped it going into a uh, touch, and Robertson is going to go at Golatz, high across the area, the challenge coming in once more, it breaks, Alan Ball picks up that ball, and calms it all down, and asks Austin Hayes to do some running for him down the right, but uh, Colin Barrett's there first, and lays a long ball all of 30 yards back to Peter Shilton. We're now moving into injury time here, and we don't need any injury time, because that's the whistle blown by Peter Reeves, and the enormous cheer that came in was from most of the supporters away to our left, which is now rather like a forest of enormous yellow butterflies. That's the yellow banners of Southampton, because they go in here leading by one goal to nil, So Nottingham Forest about to start the second half of this 1979 League Cup final, trailing by a goal to nil. The goal scored by David Peach in the 13th minute of the first half, still separating the sides. And in this second half, Nottingham Forest will be attacking the goal to our right. And immediately on the attack with Bertels in the inside left position, but a very good challenge from Chris Nicholl, that tall, beefy and uncompromising centre half for Southampton. Really hammered the ball into touch on that far side of the field throw in quickly taken by Forrest and the ball on that far side with Robertson really hogging that left touch line slides it in field looking for Frank Clark in the inside left position ball is in there to nick it away from him but Nottingham Forest have it back again the ball driven towards the Southampton penalty area but Williams will intercept for Southampton brings it forward a long sweeping crossfield ball towards Boyer on this near side of the field and uh, it's come out of play will throw in to Nottingham Forest quickly taken the ball with McGovern halfway inside the Southampton half finds Woodcock Woodcock tackle from behind oh good ball through to Gamble and Gamble tries oh and it's just wide of the post a remarkable effort in the end Gamble trying the shot it seemed to slide forward towards the goalkeeper came off his knees and the rebound off the defender for a corner kick to Nottingham Forest that was so, so close. A corner taken by Woodcock towards the penalty spot. Golax will head it away. And Williams is there to clip it forward upfield towards Curran. And Curran has got round Gebel. And he's got yards of space. And Austin Hayes on his left. And he's going forward inside the penalty area. Slips it forward. 
but shook magnificently off his line again. Curran is furious with the referee. He thinks he might have been impeded as he made that break. But Nottingham Forest for a moment then were wide open to danger. Curran really using his speed to take on the defence. And I wonder, had he spotted Austin Hayes coming through in the inside left position and found him, what Southampton might have done from that attack? Still, it's Nottingham Forest nil, Southampton one. But Forest themselves are going forward. The ball halfway inside the Southampton half, but Boyer wins it back in a tackle. And again, it's three against two as Southampton come forward. Boyer finds Hayes just outside the Nottingham Forest penalty area. The little man goes forward and tries a shot, and it's not far over. Chilton was following it all the way and had it covered that far corner of his goal. But a good effort by little Austin Hayes, growing in confidence, and two early attacks by Southampton in this second half that have really stretched the Nottingham Forest defence and either of them might have produced a goal. Shilton with the kick. What a marvellous start to the second half for Southampton, although ironically they came very close themselves to conceding a goal in that incident when Gemmell went through on his own. Bertel's on the halfway line, finds Gemmell in the centre-forward position. Woodcock hesitates so as not to go offside. And the ball is swept down forward, 10 yards from the Southampton penalty area, still going forward. Gemmell prods it towards McGovern, McGovern shoots and Peach manages to get his body in the way. It's all happening in these opening minutes of the second half. Still Southampton under pressure. The ball with Robertson inside the penalty area. Nicholas there to clear. Bertels takes it from him. And a great goal by Gary Bertels. A magnificent goal by Bertels. The danger really threatened then. And Bertels was quick to spot it. Nickel hesitated that vital split second. And Bertels was in to nip the ball from him and drive it in from the most acute angle, high into the roof of the net, and Nottingham Forest are back on level terms. And here, moments ago at Wembley, a goal by Gary Bertels has brought Nottingham Forest back into this League Cup final. A superb goal. There's seen no real danger from a concerted Forest attack. Chris Nicholl, the Southampton centre-half, had the ball inside his own goal area. Geno was there on hand, waiting for the ball to be played back to him. But Bertels came round the back of the defence, nipped in and drove the ball high into the roof of the net from a very acute angle. For a magnificent goal by Bertels, his 19th of the season. And it's made the scoreline with seven minutes gone in this second half. Nottingham Forest won, Southampton won. A tremendous start to the second half and Wembley now is absolutely alight. And Nottingham Forest are really pressing forward again. Woodcock, left edge of Southampton's penalty, that's a good cross for O'Neill on the far post. O'Neill climbs high, still gets it across the face of an empty goal mouth. And finally, it's knocked behind for a corner, and Southampton then didn't know what had hit them for a moment. The ball was played by O'Neill across an empty goal mouth. One touch, and it would have been in. But there was nobody to apply the touch, and it's gone behind for a corner. Robertson swings it into the near post, headed away by home. Southampton under real pressure now. They play the ball up to the halfway line, but significantly the extra man now is a Forest man. It's Gemmell who comes forward. Halfway inside Southampton's half, he's still going forward. Plays it towards goal. Geno will have to leap from his line quickly and does so and catches the ball smartly under pressure from Tony Woodcock. And now the experienced heads in this Southampton side, men like Nickel and ball are going to be so important because Forrest, make no mistake, are now beginning to play the kind of football that we know they're capable of, the kind of football they never played in that first half. This is the real Forrest and Southampton now are facing a supreme test. They've lost that early goal in the second half and Forrest at the moment are in the driving seat. I wonder what Brian Clough said to them at half-time. Whatever it was, it's really stirred them because they have started this second half magnificently. Throw in to Nottingham Forest, which they've already taken halfway inside Southampton's half. The ball with Gemmell in the inside left position, 10 yards from the Southampton penalty area, finds Bertels, and that's a good cross by Bertels. Just so, I don't believe that. I don't think I've ever seen that happen at Wembley before. Bertels actually drew the cross along the goal line. The goalkeeper went down on his belly, and it actually went underneath him and along the goal line. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before in a Wembley final. Remarkable incident. It must have been inches away from being over the line. 
but again no one was there to prod it home and Geno will never ever if he plays to be a hundred have a luckier moment than that a remarkable incident but Southampton have it again in midfield ball crosses the halfway line in the inside right position he's still going forward a good ball towards Boyer but the veteran Frank Clark is there to clear from the edge of his own box and the ball goes out of play as Peter Reeves unsuccessfully tries to burst another blue balloon that's come onto the pitch and from the throw Peach 15 yards from Nottingham Forest penalty area in possession going forward Peach all the time he loves to do that he's already scored once this time he gives it away though and the ball is cleared upfield towards Bertels Bertels turns it first time towards Woodcock oh and Walwood has made a bad mistake Woodcock has it just outside the penalty area he's going it alone inside the box Woodcock slides it forward and it's a goal but has the referee said no he has the orange flag of the linesman on this near side is raised and the celebrations are cut short and I think this time I would agree with the referee as the ball was played forward towards Bertels he did look to be in an offside position and although he neatly slotted it home the referee and linesman had no doubt this is now becoming a very good final Nottingham Forest 1, Southampton 1 Southampton going forward with Peach just in from the left touchline Southampton's left the near side as we watch finds Holmes Holmes to Williams 15 yards from the penalty area going forward all the time Williams finds Hayes back out to Peach Peach a good ball into the middle and Shilton made it look easy and it wasn't a dangerous low ball played in towards the near post 19 minutes gone Forest 1 Southampton won in the 1979 League Cup final as Lloyd badly back heads the ball into his own penalty area Boyer picks himself up and gets in a shot he didn't make the most of it in the end it was straight at Shilton but that was a bad mistake by Larry Loy. It could so easily have cost Forrest a goal at a time when they are in the driving seat. So we're halfway through this second half in a game that is really getting better by the minute. Nottingham Forest 1, Southampton 1. To continue commentary, Peter Jones. Hayes down the left for Southampton. Checks his stride, finds Holmes. Holmes will hold it, feeds Hayes. Five yards outside the Forest area. Turns it across that area, looking for Curran. But in fact... Uh, Clark is at least six inches too tall for Curran. It breaks and Robertson deep inside his own half will try a run. Finds Woodcock. Good skills by Woodcock. Turns away. Controls the ball well. Finds Bertels. Back to Woodcock just inside the Southampton half. 1-1 one, one here. Good tackle. Ball strikes to McGovern. Ball played forward. A chance for Bertels. Flag goes up. Offside. But it certainly seemed to me that the linesman took a little time there. As far as Nottingham Forest are concerned, the linesman took about two hours to raise that flag. Just under 15 minutes to go here at Wembley. Nottingham Forest won, Southampton won. Forest, the League Cup holders and champions. And I suppose you could call them favourites now too for the European Cup. But it was Southampton who took the lead after 13 minutes with the man in possession at the moment, Peach. Not for long he isn't because Bertels takes it away from him. Finds O'Neill. Laid down the line by Barrett. Again, a muddle of bodies and the loose ball breaks to McGovern. Forrest captain. Needham picks up the ball just inside his own half. Short finds Gemmel. Gemmel tries to turn the ball back. Not a good ball from him, though. And Boyer, by way of Alan Ball, trying to go forward. Good tackle coming in there from Barrett. Barrett forward, Woodcock. Ball breaks to Bertels. Bertels going forward here for Nottingham Forest. Bertels still got it. Gary Bertels! 2-1, Nottingham Forest. A great moment for Nottingham Forest and Gary Bertels, the man his manager said began this season a million miles from Wembley. Well, he's not a million miles from Wembley now. He took that in the manner born. Not so long ago, he was playing in the Midland League. Now he's playing in the Super League. He took it beautifully, beat off the challenge, and as Geno was diving, he found the back of that Southampton net. The pressure has told. Gary Bertels gets his second. He may well have won the League Cup for Nottingham Forest, the holders. Because now, with 12 minutes to go, it's Nottingham Forest 2, Southampton 1. And at the moment, this particular part of Middlesex is all red and white. The Forest supporters are way to our right. But again, Forest are really fighting for every ball now. Gemmel cuts the ball in field. A chance for him. Tony Woodcock! Oh, lovely goal by Tony Woodcock. And the Southampton heads drop now. Brad Clough gets to his feet and shows a little emotion. Gemmel did it right. 
just as it looked as if the ball was going to be crossed from Gemmell. He saw the gap and he slid it through and Woodcock turned and from the narrowest of angles he put the ball in the far corner. They shout, easy, easy. It's not really been easy, but Tony Woodcock gets his third League Cup goal of the season. And let's remember at one stage they loaned him to Lincoln and they loaned him to Doncaster. I bet they're glad they didn't in fact keep that loan permanent. He came back, he's had a good season and he's done perhaps the best of all here because that now surely is the end of Southampton. At this moment, Laurie McMenemy is going to throw his last dice and that's to bring in Tony Seeley because the Southampton substitute is on the sidelines at the moment. He's just 19 years of age. He's never scored, in fact, for Southampton. If he was to score now, they'd give him the freedom of the city. And it's Austin Hayes, the 20-year-old Londoner who comes off, who's done, I'm sure, as much as anyone could expect from him. We've got four minutes to go. And Nottingham Forest, the holders, and indeed the champions, have got a throw. Robertson will take it. And again, Wembley is the best place in the world to be when you're winning. Because you know that all the songs around the stadium belong to you. And it's Nottingham Forest now who will sing their side all the way home for the last three and a half minutes here. But Southampton certainly have played so well, particularly in the first half, when they were adventurous and positive. They're trying to come forward now with Holmes. Ball breaks away from Holmes. Cullen will go down for it. A challenge coming in from Frank Clark. Ball goes into touch. It'll be a throw-in to Southampton, which Cullen himself will take. It's about four or five yards from the corner flag. In fact, he's leaving it to Golatz. So Golatz will take the throw back to Williams. Williams holds, has to check and come away. Turns the ball across the area. Waldron going up for that set piece. The shot coming in. Oh, what a tremendous goal by Waldron. Oh, that was out of nothing. A tremendous goal from Malcolm Waldron, the local boy. It was a set piece. The ball came over. Waldron had a look. There was nothing doubtful about that. He hit a tremendous shot, his fourth goal of the season, and he really whacked that one with his left foot. And he went into the far corner, and in fact, I think it may well have been Nick Holmes and not Mick Wald and Malcolm Waldron. It was indeed Nick Holmes. My apologies to him, but they were both there together. I don't think it'll matter to Southampton. What does matter is that Nick Holmes has made it 3-2. I wonder, with a minute and a half, are Southampton going to take us into extra time as the ball is played back to their goalkeeper, Geno? A long kick from Geno onto Holmes. Alan Ball laying it forward for Boyer. Boyer going forward. Shilton comes out right to the edge of his area, though. And just spreads himself on that one. Boyer brought down by Barrett. Free kick to Southampton. Four or five yards inside the Nottingham Forest half. Alan Ball suddenly full of urgency. Lays it square. Golatz coming forward. Golatz lays it outside to Curran. Curran will go at Frank Clark. In the end, he plays it short to Seeley, the substitute. Good tackle coming in from Robertson. Forrest going back to defend now. They lead 3-2. And we've got 20 seconds to go here. Nottingham Forest 3, Southampton 2. 1-0 it was to Southampton. 1-1. And then it seemed that Nottingham Forest had sewn it up. And Nick Holmes... But in fact, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough in the end. An unexpected goal in the last two minutes. Perhaps a little more pride for Southampton. And now the moment when everybody stands back and says well done to everybody else. And Brian Clough and Peter Taylor come over to shake hands with Laurie McMenemy. And Brian Clough, quiet as he always is on these occasions, will wait, I'm sure, for his side to come off the field. The cheer now is for the men in red, Nottingham Forest, the League Cup holders and the champions and the European Cup favourites. The third time they've been here in a year, and they've won on every occasion. John McGovern gets to the top of the steps, if he can get through a crowd of Nottingham Forest supporters, gets to the top of those steps, turns to his left. One of those supporters, in fact, has put a Nottingham Forest scarf around his neck. He loved that. The Scotsman from Montrose, John McGovern, always looks so calm, always looks as if he's in a practice game, really. And he played so well in the second half. That's the cheer. And in the moment, you'll hear the biggest cheer of all, because that will be when John McGovern raises the League Cup, which already has red and white ribbons on it, the red and white ribbons of Nottingham Forest. They've polished it all year, Nottingham Forest, and he'll hold it up now and say, it belongs to me.
So John McGovern raises the cup and behind him the victorious side. Some of them in fact with so many stories. Peter Shilton of course, the man who's been here so often for England. The little Archie Gemmell now coming down the steps to Archie Gemmell who worked wonders in that second half. And the two young men, Gary Bertles and Tony Woodcock. Bertles with two goals. And again, the man that Brian Clough likes, because Brian Clough, remember, was a centre-forward himself for Middlesbrough and for England. He says, I've got a special soft spot for centre-forwards. Well, his centre-forward, Gary Bertles, did it for him this afternoon. Gary Bertles turns and goes down the Royal Box steps. Tony Woodcock just kisses that little silver cup he's got. And Nottingham Forest go down those steps, knowing that they've won it again. So at least they're the first side this season to win a place in Europe next season. Automatically, of course, the winners of the League Cup get that. Below us, Peter Taylor, and the team are now all down there below us. Away to our left, though, a final little moment for Southampton. They've gone round the running track, they're beaten, they're second best, but they're still being cheered, and just as I say that, their cheers are swallowed up by Nottingham Forest. So much, a little posse now of Nottingham Forest players, the cup being held up by Gary Bertels and Larry Lloyd between them, Lloyd who kept things tight at the back, Bertels who got two goals, the killer goals in the end. They go to the photographers away to our rights, they hold the cups high. Well away to our left now, the electronic scoreboard is uh, looking sweet for Nottingham Forest. It says congratulations Forest, the first club to win the League Cup two years running. And then hard luck Southampton, that's how it was. I'd like to leave you in fact with one quote from Brian Clough that he gave us yesterday. He said, Laurie McMenemy is a pal of mine, but I couldn't care less if he ends up with a broken heart. I'm sure he feels exactly the same way about me, and from the part of the country we come from, that suits us both. So Laurie McMenemy's heart may be broken, but Brian Clough won't care, and that's how Laurie McMenemy would want it to be. There are winners and losers. Southampton are the losers. Nottingham Forest have won the cup. The final scoreline here in the 19th League Cup final at Wembley. Nottingham Forest 3, Southampton 2.